Kevin did not know a stranger, and he attracted everyone. Uh, he was everyone's friend. He stood up for the smaller guy, was well-respected by his teachers and his peers. As a friend, best word I could ever describe is loyal. Do anything for you, truly, and trustworthy, never failed. And I think that played into who he became as a person and what he did for his job. Kevin Arthur Houston, he was born September 20th of 75 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was 10 when we landed on the Cape. He went through the Barnstable school system. He was very active and he absolutely loved football. He already knew what he wanted to be when he grew up, which was a Navy SEAL. Why a SEAL? Probably because it's so elite and he wanted to see if he could do it. He challenged himself constantly. I think he just always wanted to be the best of the best, but he made it to the tip of the spear until that fateful helo accident, August 6th in 2011, last year. They were flying into a valley, so I guess they were Taliban guys with RPGs, those grenade launchers sitting on a roof, so they each took a shot, and the second one hit the rear rotor on the helicopter. They were only 30 seconds out from landing, so the G-forces is what actually took their lives. He was on his fourth tour in Afghanistan, and if he had a choice between retiring at age 65, wealthy because he worked at you know IBM for so many years, or exactly what happened, being in the teams, making the elite, dying in a helicopter crash. It's exactly what he would do. He'd do it. He'd do the same thing all over again. I really don't believe Kevin ever wasted a minute of his life. If he was at a bus stop, he would find something interesting to talk to a total stranger about and talk to them for 20 minutes and mean it. And that's a neat thing. He just embedded himself in your heart. And he was hilarious. I just remember things that he would do as a kid, like he put eggs over the door, hoping that when I opened the door, they'd fall on my head. And he was a good father. He helped his brother, my son Craig, that still lives at home, shed close to 100 pounds. He just, he cared about everyone. I think he only feared regret. And he, he lived. He was, he was so alive. Being part of the human experience is what Kevin showed me. And I'll never forget him for it, and I appreciate it, because he did it in a unique way, and I try to do it myself, and it's a great way to feel alive.